Hello everyone, this is Mahesh, Vice President of Technology in Pluto 7 and welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we will see how to activate Google Cloud Platform's free tier, so which gives you almost like $300 free credit for 12 months. If you use it effectively, you can uh, complete your any co any certification like it could be professional cloud architect, data engineer or the newest uh, certification which has come DevOps. You can use this effectively. So let's see how to activate it. So just click on get started for free. And it will ask you to log in with your Gmail ID. Let me log in with my Gmail ID. Once you have logged in successfully, uh, you will see a new screen where it will ask you uh, which country you belong to, select the country. So this is all based on your internet service provider. So, so I'm based in India, so it shows me that very quickly. So this screen is a straightforward one, no rocket science. Just select the country to which you belong to. So click on continue. And the second step is the most important step where many of us make a mistake when we are trying to activate a free trial account since we are not a business so it has to be an individual uh, let me repeat it the account type has to be a individual that is the most important thing and under tax information make it as a registered individual and don't fill in any details which is optional so that's not required so since i'm in india so there's something called as pan uh, permanent account number which is optional and i'm not going to fill in those details moving on to the last part which is where you will enter your details about what's your name the postal code all those details you can enter those details and once you enter those details i'm going to fill in my address and details uh, like some let me just fill in the details bangalore and I'll fill in all the details and for example, the state. So anything else, the address, I'm just going to fill it, but I'm not going to show you that part since it's in a confidential one. And the most and the f important thing is enter your credit card. Uh, in some countries, uh, debit card also works. So I have heard like, uh, I have not tried it, but at least in India, I have heard uh, specific credit card debit cards also works uh, like say for example ICICI bank uh, debit cards or HDFC debit cards work but I'm not very sure but I have heard of that so that's the part so let me enter those details and click on free trial and I'll show you the next screen what will come after you successfully do the payment another small tip which I wanted to give before I enter my credit card details is that you don't need to turn on this part uh, if it's for a self-learning purpose because afterwards the automatic billing will start so to be on the safer side please don't turn the slider and once you fill in the credit card details make sure you click on this start my free trial all right i have successfully uh, registered and i have activated my free trial and this is the welcome message which you'll see and this is very important and you see this is where uh, google's uh, uh, openness comes into picture that's what I would like to say like thanks for signing up your free trial includes 300 credit uh, dollars uh, in the credit to spend it over the next 12 months and this part is a beauty which I really like compared to any other cloud if you ran out of credits don't worry they will not charge Google will not cross charge your credit card that's the beautiful feature which I really like it and if you're exhausted, if you're a very enthusiastic person where you feel like exhaust this 300 credit dollars, 300 US dollars in a month or maybe in 10 days, no worries. They are not going to charge you going forward. It's only when you activate this automatic billing, which I showed in the previous screen, the slider, only when you do that, only then you'll be cross charged. Otherwise, you'll not be cross charged. That's a beauty. So let me click on got it and when i do this this is the screen which i'm going to see and by default you will see a, a project with the name my first project is created by default and if you want to just see whether what's the username because this is a live demo which i did so demo dot 
GCP 2021 so this is the same user which we use and we have activated and let's just go and see whether any of the services gets working whether it's really working or not so what we can do is quickly we can just go to our compute engine and see and people who are watching my YouTube channel will know so the moment you click uh, on compute engine for the first time and for the first time in a project the compute engine API will get uh, triggered and once this is getting triggered behind the scene what is happening is it is creating a VPC so if you are very curious to know just scroll down and go to your networking and you will see a VPC a default VPC would be getting created this is the one which is getting created looks good so let's just go ahead and see whether we can create a bucket I'm just trying to show you that what I have done is a real demo which is uh, which has a complete process of activating it and let's just quickly see whether we can create a, uh, a bucket so usually project ID is the most uh, is the globally unique ID so let's try to create a bucket name with the project ID and see whether we can try, try to create it so it looks like things are all working uh, so I'm just going to click create and let's see whether it's working okay really looks like it is really working yes the bucket has been created let me just go back to my compute engine and see whether the stuffs are working so this way uh, you are very much clear so the APS are getting enabled let me just pause the video once the APS are enabled I'll quickly show a virtual machine getting created that confirms you that the free tire which has been created is really working or not all right the APIs have been enabled let's try to create a virtual machine that will give us a confirmation everything has gone successfully fine so let me as usual let me try to make a stuff in Mumbai and just click on create and looks like my virtual machine is getting created so that's an indication so for for some people if the activation is not being done properly or the free trial activation is not done properly it will show enable billing only then you can create your virtual machine so let's see whether something is working throwing error for me okay what it shows us in this zone currently resources are not possible okay no worries uh, it's still not an issue sometimes there are some places where you will not some zones where you will not be at a given point of time not able to create an instance let me just create it in uh, your central itself for the demonstration purpose you see uh, it's totally a live demo so nothing has been canned nothing has been cooked here everything is live so we got an error the error is we don't have enough resource uh, in Asia uh, uh, to be specific in Mumbai C zone that's the reason we got that error so and we are creating a virtual machine in um, US central and it is working fine successful and uh, the last step which I wanted to do is I don't really like this name uh, my first project I want it to be something different and let me try to show you where you can change it uh, at least uh, you cannot change the, the project ID but what you can do is if you just click on the project setting you can change the human readable name so usually I try to do it something like this learn GCP with Mahesh so save it and if I save it my human readable name would be changed but the project ID still remains the same at least it looks better uh, it's easy for you to remember that is the thing and one last step which I wanted to really do is uh, to have my uh, free tier free trial account uh, free tier account used completely uh, if you go back to your email the email ID which you use in this case was demo.gcp2021 user you would have received a mail saying that please confirm your uh, or complete your profile if you click on this this will give Google a idea who is a person what is the purpose of activating the free trial so this would definitely give some information so let's try to do it like uh, uh, what are the steps define the role like something like a data engineer or a developer so you can fill in those details then uh, what is the purpose so it is for self-learning or to enhance my skill set that's one and what are the services which you are going to do use I'm going to use everything which uh, and we will see various demos so I'm going to use everything uh, or if you want to just the full platform you can 
do the entire stuff here so I want to evaluate the entire platform you can mention that and uh, are you what product GCP products are you interested in learning about I'm a great fan of uh, app engine so uh, the learning process never ends. so BigQuery is one of my favorite stuff so all the stuffs we are going to explore uh, in the, the upcoming videos and what else is there so you can try to see anything else is there looks all good uh, is there anything else you would like to share like uh, I, I I would like to uh, like to do uh, videos on uh, GCP that's my whole intent so let me just click on accept and this gives them a completeness so that's a whole thing so we are pretty much open here uh, saying that what is the purpose of using GCP free trial account so that's the stuff so just close the screen and if let's see whether they get give us send us any intimation if it's not it's still fine so let's go back and you see that we have one virtual machine one storage and one last tip which I wanted to share is whenever you are using free trial right please make sure whenever your studies are stuff finished make sure you go and delete it this is one of the best practice if you start this from the beginning you can use your free trial to the fullest potential like three hundred dollars you can use it to the fullest potential for the entire year so that is very very important so if you just go back to the bucket you can delete the bucket also uh, so that when you want to learn certain steps do it and when you don't need any resource make sure you delete it so that's a important stuff so let me just clean it up let me lead by example here and cleaned up so after a couple of minutes uh, and you should see uh, this will get updated and showing that there's no resource so it's an empty project that's what it's going to show so that's a video which I wanted to share today hope it was interesting thank you for watching